seem like you don't have much ownership in life anymore, especially when you become famous. We all have some type of thing that'll push our buttons, and we human. You see why certain guys do what they feel is best for them. And you see people always question or throw hatred at a guy that makes a decision for him or his family. But when it's happened to, to him in the other way, oh, it's just business. To me, yes, it's business. But people use that word business so lightly to where it's not even worth nothing anymore. Because it's business don't mean the situation was handled right. I remember watching a mob movie. They go blow up somebody's car and their first words is, oh, it's just business. So I'm supposed to accept that you blew up my car because of business. This is bullshit to me, honestly. So no matter how much loyalty you stand by or how much morals you you put in you can't let that change you and your beliefs and that's just how i look at it so that's just life you really don't know until you get in that position to know what it's like to be an NBA pro, especially in my time. So when I came in, I was naive about everything. 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 Like, <laughs> especially I, I came in late. I was the only rookie. Uh, you playing with these guys, they got families. <laughs> Outside of that job, they didn't give a damn about you. They not calling you to go hang out. People don't understand it and they don't see it. It's such a roller coaster ride and you gotta find a, a calm to be able to get through it every single day, so. Being a pro is extremely lonely for me, you know. Other people may have their own, their other vices that they use to get through it. The hardest and the toughest thing is you making that sacrifice of losing friendships, kind of being more distant from, from your family, missing out on special moments, holidays, you kind of miss out on the norm of, of a life in a sense. There's Thanksgiving, I was in Indiana in a hotel, and order room service, you know, you get used to it after 10 years of understanding with the mess and everything, but when you really look at it in detail, it's, it's kind of hard when you see everybody around their family, being able to enjoy a, a holiday that brings everybody together. It's extremely lonely. It's extremely lonely. You really want to be good at this, you're going to make the sacrifices of not being able to go out not being able to hang out with people because you put so much time into wanting to be great and keep getting better that all them cool things are left out. Everybody just see that you got a bunch of money. That's it. You got the answer. You ain't got no problem because you got a bunch of money. You ain't got nothing to worry about because you got a bunch of money. That's just how you look at by whoever it is, friends, family, fans, outside people, you know, and that's the reality that we deal with as anybody successful. So for me, at times, you, you just want to be able to write something down and feel like that's your own ownership of something. Nobody can take this away. Nobody can see this unless you want it to be shown. You know, 
of these days, you know, you can't do much without the world seeing it or wanting to know what's going on or being able to have access to it. So sometimes you don't want to hear shit. Just being able to write something down and fold it up in a piece of paper, you know, it means everything for me. I could dig in my pocket right now and um, have something probably my daughter wrote. Daddy, I'm here. I love you. The yard. Uh, my dreams of love, love to feed animals. <laughs> my daughter wrote this. She always leave me little notes, but to me, it's just it's my ownership. One thing nobody can fuck with is my daughters. I don't care about nothing else. <laughs> Period. No sports, no basketball, no money. After I had my daughters, it changed my life. I could be the greatest basketball player to ever live. That wouldn't amount up to how great my daughters say I am and the way and light my daughters look at me in. Nobody can ever take that away, period. Basketball has always been my outlet through, through whatever pain I was going through. Basketball was always my antidote to be able to be me, be happy. I had a saying after a lot of my games, whatever personal stuff I was going through, after the two and a half hours of being out there between them four lines, as soon as we walk off it, they always used to say, back to reality. That was life for me. I wouldn't change nothing. I wouldn't change nothing at all. One, I never even believed I'd even be here. <laughs> I ain't believe it. <laughs> Somehow made it happen and you know the road goes on after that, so I wouldn't change nothing.